I had a very interestingly uneventful day. Um, back with wine because it's Friday night, so YOLO. The day I had was all about trying to prepare to open my CrossFit gym potentially end of next week, maybe weekend, beginning of the following week. Um, uh, the, the rumor on the street is that on Monday, he's going to have, Mike DeWine is going to have, our governor is going to have a full um, briefing of what businesses need to be able to do in order to open. So my day was based around cleaning and all things cleaning. Um, we experimented at the gym with one of those uh, round robot vacuums. And let me tell you, we've been playing with it now for four days. Um, today I threw in the towel and gave up. It seems really simple that a vacuum mop could do a wide open space. So when we think about the layout of my gym, the space that I wanted it to clean and mop was 30 feet wide by 100 feet long with literally nothing in the way. Nothing. Couldn't figure it out. Couldn't find the boundaries by itself. So we went in the back end and we added a map of a square. Well, a rectangle in this case, right? Rectangle. Couldn't figure it out. I went in and made it just a small little section to experiment. Couldn't figure it out. So today I went in and sat directly next to it. I set up a five foot by five foot space for it to clean. This is literally what it did, no joke. It spun around by itself for about six times in a circle because it was trying to locate itself. Then it told me it was gonna start cleaning did not start mopping. The little bristles, however, did start to go. Started cleaning. Um, it did two turns, told me that cleaning was complete and that I needed to put it on the dock. So it was completely useless. After four days, I packed up the Ecovac, right? That was the brand, Ecovac, packed it up, and I took its bitch ass back to Best Buy. So I got my money back and ended up at Target for a wet dry vacuum. Ended up on the Bissell Crosswave. Just got done experimenting with it. Um, super easy to use. Came right out of the box. Uh, is just as time consuming as mopping, but a lot less back breaking. I also like that it picks up the dirty water, so that's a super sweet feature. I'm gonna delve further into, we have a rug doctor. I'm gonna delve further into whether that would work on it as well, um, only because my, my concern with the rug doctor is that it's just gonna be too aggressive. The Bissell that I got has like a microfiber roller, so it's a nice soft uh, fabric on the floor because what I don't wanna do is do anything to ruin the $10,000 floor I just put in at the gym. However, I wanna make sure that it's clean and ready for people to use. I want it to be easy to clean because we're gonna be cleaning more often. Um, so I really like the idea of this Bissell vac because it's just a super easy, throw water in the container and literally just vacuum your floor, but it mops. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with cleaning. Um, tonight's project is getting large volume wipes ordered because that's going to be something that we're going to need a ton of at the gym now based on us wanting equipment cleaned before and after each use. So we're going to go through a ton of those. I do have some stockpiled from pre pandemic, um, and being closed but certainly not enough to last us more than probably two or three weeks of being open. So that will be our next, uh, my next project tonight. Um, so if you've ever wanted to know how sexy it is to own your own business and all the fun things you get to do, when you are baby free, you get to spend your day around cleaning products and learning how to clean things um, 
cleaning all things for your business. So cheers to a successful Friday and uh, waking up tomorrow to do it all again. The only difference is that tomorrow I get to do it with a two-year-old in tow.